So a brand new video game handheld has just been announced called the Asus ROG Ally. And many video game fans like myself are really excited about the potential that this has to be the first true alternative to the incredible Steam Deck. Now I've had my Steam Deck for six weeks now and I'm totally in love with it. The fact that it is amazing for emulation, remote play, for the PS4 or 5 and also Xbox works so well in it too. It plays Linux games too and recently I did a video on how the amazing rhythm game called Clone Hero works really well on the Steam Deck and of course it plays all the games in your Steam library. However, there are five key ways that the ASUS ROG Ally really is better than the Steam Deck. So without further ado, let's take a look. At number five is availability. The Steam Deck is so hard to get hold of. The 64 gigabyte model is currently out of stock. You can't even buy it properly on Amazon and it's still not available in many parts around the world in many key markets like Mexico, Australia and Brazil. In fact, when I got my Steam Deck six weeks ago, I got it from a great shop here in the UK called CEX Secondhand, because it's just so hard to get hold of. And this is in contrast to the Asus ROG Ally where they're partnering with Best Buy. So you can walk in to a store, at over a thousand available in the US, and having that retail availability really is a big win for the Ally. At number four is the speakers. Now the speakers on my Steam Deck are good, pretty decent. Uh, but you can see here just in this picture that the Asus ROG Ally are almost double the size of the Steam Deck. And this was actually alluded to in a recent video by the legend that is Linus. And he was talking about how much better the quality and also volume of the Ally is. So check this out. Can we play something like a rhythm game on this and actually enjoy it? Unlike on the Steam Deck. I can't say I miss Audio Surf, but... Um, these speakers sound great though. I've only got this at about 30% right now. What? That is a very full sound considering the size of this device. All right. At number three is the fan noise. Now on the Steam Deck, I use a lot of emulation, like I said in the intro, and don't hear the fans at all. It's really, really quiet. But it's when you start to play those AAA games, that's when you really start to hear those fans start to whirl, and it is very, very noticeable. Uh, and one of the big advantages that the Asus has is the fact that the noise of the fans is so much quieter. And uh, the only other person who's been lucky enough to have a little bit of time with the Ally prototype is Dave2D. And his link is in the description below along with Linus. And uh, he was, pun intended, blown away by the fans. Check this out. One feature that legitimately blew me away about the Ally, it's the fan noise. So. This has an incredibly quiet fan system. It almost doesn't even make sense. So on the Steam Deck, not that this has like a crazy loud fan system, but if you're playing a demanding game, you can absolutely hear it going. And when you have loud fans, you have to crank up the speakers to be able to hear them over the fans, right? On the Ally, I legitimately thought that there was something wrong with this device. I had a fairly demanding game running and I couldn't hear the fans at all. I had to stick my ears right up to the top of the device and I was like, oh yeah, they're running. It's that quiet. So. At number two is the display. Now the display is such a crucial part of any handheld and on the Steam Deck it is good. Now they both have a seven inch display. The Steam Deck is slightly bigger at 1610 aspect ratio compared to 169. But it's in the other three areas where the Ally really dominates over the Steam Deck with a 1080p display compared to 800, 500 nits of brightness compared to only 400 on the deck and an incredible 120 hertz display compared to only 60 on the Steam Deck. And this will make for much smoother gameplay. 
and Linus was very impressed with his hands-on preview with the Ally. It's the Steam Deck. This looks flipping awesome. And at number one is the performance. Now the Steam Deck is great for emulation, like I've said, and for playing indie titles like Vampire Survivors. But if you wanna play those AAA titles like Hogwarts Legacy, like Red Dead Redemption 2, then you really have to lower the graphic settings to medium or low. Whereas the Ally offers double the performance speed compared to the Steam Deck, which means that 60 frames per second, high graphic settings, super smooth gameplay, really means that this could be a real winner. So much right, it just makes for a way better gaming experience than the Steam Deck. Let's start off with performance. So Asus claims that this has double the performance of the Steam Deck, like literally 2X. And there we have it. Five ways that the Asus ROG Ally is better than the Steam Deck. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And also please let us know in the comments below if you have a Steam Deck, what you think about upgrading, if the price is right. And there are rumors that it could be six to $800, similar to the Steam Deck. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.